Hi folks, Max from HTC1Root.com for this week's AOSP ROM for the HTC One M8. I know many of you are probably uh, wondering when the next AOSP ROM is coming out. Now, um, I've tried a couple different ones. A lot of them were having trouble with the camera. Uh, but this one by Task650, uh, XA user Task650, I've actually been following him since uh, with the AT&T Galaxy S2. Um, he makes some excellent uh, custom AOSP ROMs, AOKP ROMs especially, um, for a long time now. And uh, this is his latest work with HCC 1M8. Uh, what's different from a regular um, AOKP ROM, he does add his own, um, you know, kinks, not kinks, features, um, custom kings uh, here and there. Um, so that's what's different about it. But it's pretty much the full AOKP ROM control because it's based on AOKP ROM sources. Um, anyway, this ROM, uh, let's take a look at the camera real quick. And I really like this ROM because the camera just works flawless. Um, I haven't been able to actually find another ROM that has camera working flawless, uh, especially with the Google camera, uh, which is sort of nice. And that's working well. And also photos here. Now I haven't really found any f any phones that actually work with the Google camera other than Nexus devices. Um, there's still some problems with the code, um, you know, compatibility issues. But this one actually works quite well. And also um, a lot of the other phones, the panorama doesn't work quite well. Uh, but this one actually does work quite well for panorama. You can get some really nice high res a panorama f photos. So let me just go ahead and do that. And uh, let me go over the ROM itself. It's pretty much a OKP ROM control. Um, that's the core of the ROM. And actually, let's actually go take a look at uh, the photos real quick here. And the latest photo I took here so here is the panorama. Um, looking pretty good, not too bad. Um, so very good, you know, the camera works. Um, everything works out of the box on this ROM. And let's go ahead and take a look at the ROM control. Let me go over it, um, just some of the favorites for those of you who've never tried uh, AOKP ROM control. In general, you'll find recent RAM bar, a wake up on charger, um, pretty self-explanatory. But that's your recent RAM bar there. You can go ahead and swipe to the left and go to lock screen. Uh, battery arc handle that shows you how much battery. My favorite is the lock screen notifications. Um, enable that. And also you can enable stuff like wake on notifications so your phone will wake up. Um, maybe you're watching TV and you don't want your sound on but you do want to see your notifications. Um, that's kind of comes in pretty handy. And uh, there's, there's the arc, battery arc there. And I don't have actually notifications here to show you, but uh, when I do, I'll show it to you. Let's go take a look at some of the stuff with status bar. I'm double tap to sleep. That's kind of cool because you don't have to reach out for your uh, power button there, especially with the HCC1 M8 because it's got it up there. Um, some other cool stuff. I like to actually have small EMPM clock style in the center, um, days a week, small weekday, change the color to yellow, something easy to see, battery icon, you can change it to the percentage, um, signal bars if you want it, I think this one's actually buggy as you can see, so I wouldn't use that, uh, network speeds is working fine of course, and let's put a new color, um, that will show you how much traffic you're using at any given time. Toggles, you can go ahead and configure all of your toggles, uh, rearrange them, uh, add more toggles if you want to. Uh, maybe perhaps you want to add USB tether. Oh, by the way, I forgot to tell you the most important thing. This is for all the HCC1 M8, AT&T, uh, T-Mobile, Sprint, Verizon, International, Unlocked, Developer. As long as you have an HCC1 M8, this will install on your phone. Um, toggles, hardware keys. There's obviously no hardware keys on this phone. Um, so if you want to mess with that, you can go ahead and go to navigation bar. Now this is the coolest part with AOKP ROM 
or AOSP ROMs in general, especially with this phone, there is no hardware keys. Uh, but the good thing is you can add a ton of buttons. I usually add about five, but you can go all the way to six, seven, and eh, probably seven should be the maximum that you probably want. Um, you can go ahead and add custom apps here. For example, you can add camera. Uh, I can go ahead and uh, add uh, some other applications that I use often, Chrome. Um, also, I can go ahead and add uh, Gmail. All right, that looks nice. Now, what if you want to take a screenshot or something? What you can do is do a long action, and you can do a double tap, which is really nice. Um, where is it? Okay, there is some menu somewhere uh, for screenshots. I can't find it for some reason. Uh, but let me go ahead and just set it to some random thing so you can see uh, what you can do. Okay, I'll just use the power button there. Um, so there you have it. So if I do a long press, it's going to turn off my screen. How cool is that, right? So you can go ahead and customize all these buttons um, and also even change the height. You don't want it too big. You can make it smaller, make your screen size bigger. Navigation bar width, all that good stuff. So navigation bar, pretty important key uh, for this ROM, especially for this phone with the soft keys. It's going to work out perfect. And of course, if you want to go further, definitely get the navigation ring. You know, one of the things that I had with my Note 3 or my S4, it always had the hardware buttons. So it just didn't make sense to have the soft buttons. And the navigation ring only what works if you have um, soft buttons working. Um, this basically is if you go from the bottom, then you can go to shortcuts like that. Um, so I would usually set this to the maximum right now five. Now you get five different targets. Uh, let me go ahead and try that. Oh, sorry, you know what? That's actually doing it. Um, just do that. There you go. Go ahead and set these. Let's go ahead and set these um, to some of your favorite apps. Let me do it real quick here. Calendar. I'll just do two, and then you can do the rest yourself. Applications. And two, two. All right, so let's say I'm browsing the web. I run out of this seven, number of seven. But I can do this and go launch my N22 calendar. Um, so with this ROM, you're going to be able to get one, two, three, four, five, six, maybe seven, plus another five shortcuts here that you want. Um, I would totally use it. It would save you totally a lot of time. Um, so definitely, that's one of the cool things about it that I can see on this phone. And definitely, you're going to love it, of course. Sound installer ribbons. Uh, ribbons is in some interesting stuff. Uh, basically, you can have a bunch of ribbons everywhere. Um, you can have ribbons in your lock screen. Uh, let's go ahead and set left items here. All right, let's add, um, let's add some items here. So I'm going to go ahead and add a couple apps here. Uh, calendar. I'm just adding some. I don't want to take too long here. Um, I know many of you probably <laughs> at work or something. All right, enable ribbon. All right, and swipe handle location. I would put it at the top more. Uh, swipe area long press. Meh. All right, let's try if that worked. Yeah. All right, let me go home. There we go. So if I swipe near the top there, I'm gonna get my app bar. Um, you may have to play with it a little bit. There you go. Um, to get it working just right. Whoops. Sorry. Ah, it's a moth that just came out of nowhere. Um, so you can have right ribbons and also ribbons in your lock screen. Um, some more settings there. So that's a, another set of custom shortcuts you can set. So that gives you like a 7 plus 5, 12 plus, you know, you can put like 10 there. That's 27 shortcuts you can put. Uh, animations, if you want some uh, custom animations, go ahead and set some of these. And you get nice animations there. Um, well, yeah, you, you'll get it. Other than that, uh, it comes with Trickster Mod, which is my favorite app. And also, you can access it in Kernel Control in Settings. That's going to give you, um, if you go to General here, 
that's going to give you the ability to uh, control. What I did is I set minimum to the minimum possible, maximum to the 2.2 uh, maximum. And also, it has an extra setting with this one, max screen off. So if, if you set that low as possible, that's going to possibly save you some battery life. So I did that. Make sure you hit that. And uh, make sure you're set on boot, enable, uh, once you find the right setting. And also, you can also even under volt. Um, actually, this one does not have it. You may have to get the version off the Play Store. Uh, but kernel control is great. Um, I should have a custom kernel installed. I'm still testing a couple different kernels right now. Actually, there's not too many kernels right now. Uh, but once I have an optimis, optimized kernel, I should have another post on it. Check hcc1root.com, of course. Other than that, looking pretty good. You're going to get the latest uh, Android 4.4.2 KitKat, um, pure Google on your ATC1 M8, along with these shortcuts, which makes sense on this phone especially. I'm um, definitely going to help. So definitely check it out. This is one of the ROMs you should definitely check out if you want to run AOSP. Uh, ROMs on your HCC One M8. Even if you don't know what it is, just definitely try it. And of course, FM radio there. That's kind of a FM radio trickster mod. Those are kind of the extra features that Task uh, XE user Task Six Hundred and Fifty put on there. So definitely nice, uh, nice stuff going. And uh, he's one of the better developers. So anything he puts out there, it's pretty stable, solid. So definitely check it out for this week's ROM movie. And do let me know what you think. Uh, as, as always, if you have an HCC1, uh, any of the HCC1, uh, don't forget to subscribe to my emails at hcc1root.com. Uh, and uh, this is my case. You can get this at uh, cruiserlight.com. And I will see you guys soon.